Hello and welcome to Jumps. The JJ Houlihan series moved to Sporting Bet Park where the Jump stars were on show in the time-honoured Australian Hurdle and Steeplechase. Let's take a look at all the action. The Australian Steeplechase field is set and away. In the steeple, a moderate field of seven contested the race with Craze and Catsbun battling for favouritism, but the chances didn't stop there in a great race. Craze at the fourth jump in the race. Messes it beautifully. Can see him eyeing what he has to do several strides before he gets there. Three lengths to Regina Chally being trailed then by Burley Oz. And King Triton has jumped a couple pretty scratchily, is now about six lengths off the second last one. So Craze putting in a beautiful leap again as he goes over that one. He's uh, up towards the double up on top of the hill, about seven in front of Cats. One. Two and a half Zamant as they go to the first of the double now. Fair script holding fourth, about four links Regina Chelly. And then behind them is Burley Oz as they jump the second of the double now. And back last is King Triton, 15 off the leader. Coming around the home turn, one to get over. And it's a Patrick Payne, Richard Cully ridden. Craze who leads around the bend, three lengths in front, he's done it all and he's jumped well. Cats Fun and Zaman are still there chasing him. Clear then to Fair Script and then Regina Chelly. But Craze is coming along towards the last one. It's the favourite Craze from Cats Fun switching to his inside. At the last, Craze jumps it okay. Cats Fun and Zaman put in a cracking leap. He's coming alive on the outside. Three across the track here. Craze sticks his head out still in front. Cats Fun's a man on the outside. Craze just in front of Cats Fun who's trying hard to lift with his big weight. Craze about a head in front near the line. Pulls out enough and wins a brilliant race. Craze three quarters to Cats Fun. Four links away, third's a man. Anyone that watched his race at, at um, Casterton last Sunday just put on a beautiful display of jumping. So anyone that enjoyed it, we gave him a good pat when he got home. We love him. He's a great horse. He's just a real old-fashioned, genuine jumper. I have a few seasons in him, this bloke. He's only seven. He hasn't had a lot of racing. Yeah, the race worked out really well for him today. Like, he only won by a neck, and he's going to go up in the weights for the next time. So we might have had a birthday today, but let's hope we can keep going. Casterton last week where he was just beautiful to, to watch in motion. He was just as cool today. Yeah, we sort of got carried away last week when he won so easy. And you come to a better class of race and you think you're going to do the exact same. He practically did, yeah, just jumped and galloped and he was very good. Gotta Take Care was back over the jumps after an ultra impressive win in the Gallywood, but Eric Musgrove's Thubian was brilliant in his debut and so was hot favourite Fieldmaster who crushed his rivals here three weeks ago. Set, gates are back. Fieldmaster missed the start by about three lengths. He's out the back and Valediction is the first to appear and he jumps the first of 11 pretty comfortably and opened up about three to four in a real dazzling turn early. Leading from Thurbiard and may the horse be magic as holding third, we've got to take care. Fourth on the inside of Stand again as they leave the second hurdle now. Fieldmaster second last and take out at the rear of the field. Here's the first of five up the hill and Valediction a beautiful leap that time. One of his better ones. Got to take care. Just a reasonable one back there third last. Here's the second one up the hill. Valediction about three lengths in front over that one with a mile left to go. Valediction leads coming down towards the uh, uh, a point at the 1,000 metres, a length in front of Stand Again, who quickly rushed up into second placing, and there's Fieldmaster let go by Cully, and he's moved into third. He's left, got to take care behind him, and he's up there third, challenging two to get over now. They're being followed then by May the Horse be Magic, Thurbiad, and got to take care at the second last. And Valediction Stand Again, lead by two and a half lengths to Fieldmaster, two lengths away. In fourth placing is May the Horse be Magic, got to take care, he's got a fair bit to do. He's seven off the leader, coming around around the home turn and then Thurbian who's under the whip. Fieldmaster cut the corner and dashed to the front into the straight now, one to get over. Fieldmaster dashed away, three to four lengths in front now from stand again, Valediction, got to take care to the outside and may the horse be magic boxing on but it is Fieldmaster at the last. He jumped it pretty well, he's about four lengths in front from got to take care, trying to lift on the outside but he's feeling the weight. Stand again is boxing on, it's Fieldmaster in front Oh, got to take care, starting to lift, it's never over. Fieldmaster in front, got to take care, starting to mow him down. What a performance, what a big win, got to take care. Lifts when it matters and beat Fieldmaster. Oh, brilliant win. Photo for third between Stand Again and May the Horse Be Magic. At the 300 metres, you wouldn't have given two bob for him, but he never stops wanting to win, and I never stop wanting him to win either. So between the two of us, I mean two brothers, we're just having the time of our lives. I just saw a horse come from seven lengths at the 300 and flog him. So I am very happy boy. Darren's done a fantastic job. 
He's uh, come from a horse that couldn't, couldn't win a country handicap, put him over the jumps, gave him some life. He's just full of it. And he flaps his lips, he loves it. Travelled well early today, but just top of the hit, I thought I was gone. Even going to the second last, I'd nearly given up. But just once I switched him out, got a few tears in him, got he really picked up and, you know, really tried. It was just his toughness got him through today, nothing else, you know. It's huge with that weight to, to, to give a, a good horse five kilos and, 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 and win running away. Win running away and, and probably not at his best, like, he had his best, he'd have travelled down there to second last to the last, like, I was niggling him the back of the third last, so, no, all, all credit to the horse. He just knows how to win.